test two compound angle multiple choice questions. Questions four, five, and six. Question four is two sine two x cos. Sorry. Question four is two sine x over two cos x over two is equivalent to sine x over two, sine two x, sine x, or sine x by four. Question five. Simplify cos square 15 minus sine square 15. So we are given here the values of these. 0 0.966 as first choice. Second is square root 3 over 2. Then square root 2 over 2 or half. Question 6. If tan x equals to 6 over 8, what is cos 2x? Given that x is between 0 and pi by 2. That is first quadrant. Okay. So you may need some calculations in this. Take your time, uh, do the calculations, and then match your answer. That is my suggestion. Once you have matched your answer, look into my solution. Okay? Here is my solution. Question 4. 2 sine A cos B is sine. So what is the formula? So 2 sine A, think like this, 2 sine A cos B, right, is equals to sine 2A, right? So this is sine 2 times a, right? So twice the angle given. Here the angle given is x by 2. Twice x by 2 will be x and therefore our solution is c. So in this particular case where a is x by 2, so if I replace a with x by 2, I get sine of 2 times x by 2 which is sine x. Question 5. Simplify cos square 15 minus sine square 15. Now, cos square A minus sine square A is how much? It is cos 2A, correct? Cos 2A. Since the angle A is 15, we can write this as cos of 30 degrees, right? Cos of 30 degrees. Now, what is cos of 30 degrees? So you can make a triangle here, right? This is 60, this is 30, right? And for 30, the sides are it is in quadrant 1, 30 degrees positive, square root 3 over 2. So that is the choice, choice B, correct? Question 6. If tan x equals to 6 over 8, what is cos 2x? Given x is between 0 to pi by 2. So we will use this formula. Cos 2x is cos square x minus sine square x. But we need to find what cos and sine are, correct? So we know what tan is. So we can make our triangle, let's make it here this time. So our triangle is tan x is opposite. So this is x for us, right? And 8, right? So this side will be 8 square plus 6 square square root, correct? So we have this as 8 square is 64. So we can do it. 64 plus 36 square root, right? That is hypotenuse, correct? So this is equals to 100. 100 square root is 10. So this is equals to 10. So that is our triangle. Now, cos 2x is equals to cos square x minus sine square x. Correct? Now what is cos square x? Cos square x is 8 over 10 whole square. So we have 8 over 10 whole square and sine square x is 6 over 10 whole square. Okay, minus in between. Minus 6 over 10 whole square, correct? So you do this math, right? So it is 64 minus 36 over 100, correct? So that gives us 64 minus 36 over 100, correct? And when you solve this, what do you get? You get 28 over 100, which could be divided by 4 each numerator and denominator, and you get 7 over 25. So the solution is B, 7 over 25, right? So you have to do some calculation to get the answer here, right? So we are slowly getting into these kinds of questions where some more calculation may be required. Okay, all the best. Thank you.